welcome to the fish cave the bait lab and today we're going to start this video with a little bit of housekeeping so this banner right has been uh behind my table for pretty much every video that i can remember it's been up there a while now but it's time to retire it and put up something a little bit more updated all right let's take a look well thought we were going to take a look yeah that's a little more like it folks world's worst fishing lure making tv and then we have ai dop and then my personal uh brand so like if you buy lures from me you're technically buying them from land is the limit that's my personal bait company's brand that's my logo anywhere else you've seen that little fish hook uh they are losers who stole it uh, anyway, so looking good there. We're gonna uh, go ahead and put it up. <laughs> Look at this old dead on plastic sticker just randomly up there. That's funny. All right, there's the new look. Looking good, looking good. Little little update updates to it there. And uh, man, so I ran a ton of my uh, green color shift shads, as you can see here, a ton of them in the six inches. And now I've got to figure out where to put them. This is cool right here. This is just some like remelt fun with the new ninja mold, ginger ninja mold there. And uh, this is kind of cool. So I posted up a picture of these and, uh, and it got a really good response um, on Instagram. So this is big hologram glitter that i like individually placed by hand in a line along the top of the bait and then that is some dip your car hyper shift powder that i brushed on there put on a logo eye right there and uh clear dipped them so i don't know if you want to see some stuff like this let me know in the comments down below i haven't really featured some of these larger silicone molds on the channel in a while so that might be kind of fun same with the bloodline swim bait that's the ai bloodline swim bait right there so yeah been been having some fun on the table as you can see all right an old banged up cookie sheet for the win got a little organization happening here all right dead on plastics worm blend today let's go everyone get a little stir action happening because we're going to be making some stick worms with salt we're breaking all the rules today. All right, everybody, got our nice new banner in the background. Uh, so today, um, again, it's sort of a bait maker's blog. It's not um, necessarily about one thing or trying to teach one thing um, or demonstrate necessarily any one particular thing. I just wanna make some stick worms. And I'm never, ever in the mood to make stick worms because generally you have to put salt in them. So. I use Dead On Plastics. Dead On Plastics has the sinking plastisol blends and then the floating plastisol blends. So you can get away with using less amounts of salt if you use the sinking plastic, which is a good thing for a couple of reasons. Number one, salt sucks as a bait maker. It requires constant stirring. It generally adds a lot of bubbles and moisture to your plastic. And it just, I just don't like it. Number two, it weakens a bait, okay? The more salt you have in a bait, that is less surfaces of, of the plastic polymers blending uh, like uh, t together, I, I guess. I can't think of a better way to say it. So a bait that's full of salt is weaker. Um, however, it does make them sink. So if you want that sink, if you want that extra weight, salt is a good idea. I just generally don't like doing it, but today we're gonna do it. We're gonna fire up a two color laminate. We're gonna be using the uh, air vise and let's get started. All right, so the plastic is cooking up, so I have my um, <clears throat> pneumatic air vise here uh, made by Fishing All Out. And uh, again, like I said, we're just going to do some laminate stick worms. So I need a stick worm mold. These are my good old trusty 5-inch Bass Tackle BT sticks. You can see those are very old, very dirty molds, but they still get the job done. The finish on the bait looks exquisite, and they always come out nice. And uh, what's great about... A stickworm mold is that it's generally some of your cheaper CNC injection molds. I mean, this four cavity mold here, I believe, was only fifty nine dollars. 
So you can actually get into a lot of cavities for a minimal investment. So as you can see here, I have four of these four cavity molds. So we'll be making our worms today in runs of 16 a piece. And real quick, everyone, before we get started, be sure to stay tuned for the very end of this video to see this video's color of the day. All right, we have our two cups of worm blend out of the microwave. These are still a little bit in gel phase. Um, so we're gonna continue cooking these up. If anyone is new to bait making, okay, um, and you have questions on, you know, how to prepare plastic, because that's a big part of your success is getting the best performance out of your plastic. If you're not sure exactly how to cook it, exactly how long to cook it, how to mix it, I have a small playlist called Quick Tips where I show you an in-depth look at my plastisol preparation. All right, and here's the most fun part. Let's build some color, some black grape. Okay, now let's uh, cut that with some purple. And this is just sort of a lighter shade, right? So you can see there, they're just kind of two different shades of purple. And let's see what that gets us. Oh yeah, this is always like the funnest part. So you can keep in mind, any color that you mix up is gonna be brightened by the salt because it adds, you know, all these little white salt flakes in there that will kind of reflect a brighter light through the bait so once you once you add some salt even if it's just a little bit of salt that will actually brighten itself whoops all right yeah we want a lot more of the purple there oh yeah isn't that lovely that's beautiful and then we'll put some flake in that uh yeah for the other side obviously yellow so let's get some yellow happening This, see, this right here, to me, is the coolest part of bait making, almost. Well, maybe. It's, is watching the color get stirred into the plastic, yeah. Okay. Definitely think we'll need some more color there, because that's still running a little thin. If we look at them both, yeah, you can see the purple just has more, just has more saturation. And then we're going to cut it just a little bit of this olive just to cut the brightness of the yellow. And let's see where that takes us. That brown color is from uh, MF, which means it's very watered down. So it works well when you're just trying to add just a little bit of it because it won't just completely overwhelm what you're doing. So like if I was to add a drop of dead on orange, boom, this whole thing would have turned orange. But these MF colors kind of allow you to tweak things a bit. All right, let's get some of this uh, black uh, grape flake there. Oh yeah. Gonna go ahead and add quite a bit of that. Purple on purple here. Yeah, looking good, looking good. All right, and then some black flake in the yellow, and then we are all done. So we're gonna grab this here. Could probably get away with a little bit less black flake in the yellow because it's such a contrast. It'll show up a little bit better, I think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, even that's almost too much. All right, that is way too like LSU, LA Lakers for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some green pumpkin to the yellow side and turn it a little more greenish, and then I think we're good. All right, so I ran them through the vacuum pot just to get things uh, nice and um, vacked out, no air bubbles. Um, here's where things usually go downhill. So, before I was using dead-on sinking blend, I would take a quarter of a uh, cup, okay? So this is a quarter cup right here, and per measuring cup of plastic would get a full quarter cup. These are both measured out to two cups, okay? So before, each cup would get two full scoops of salt. However, now I'm just halving this. So really, I'm using a quarter of the amount of salt that I would have used, right? Or something, I don't know, I'm not good at math. Somebody uh, fact check me there. This is a fact check society that we live in. 
All right, and so you can see a few bubbles showing up. This isn't too horrible. Um, and, and again, this is just to add a little bit of weight. Now, if you're using a plastic that does not sink by nature, you, know, you probably want to use a little bit more salt. But I try to get away with the least amount of salt uh, possible because I just don't like working with it. And I don't know one person that prefers using salt as far as bait making goes. Like, I don't know a single bait maker that's like, man, I really can't wait to put salt into my mixes today. All right, let's do it to it. And as you can see, I'm only using one half of the vise. These molds are pretty short this way, so I can basically just use one half of this. So that's what's cool about this particular vise. You have the option to accommodate molds that are long lengthways like this, or you can just use it as a single rail system. All right, let's do it. Really gotta stir that salt in. All right, that felt pretty good. So funny enough, there's a uh, school kind of near my house and the middle school drum line is out in the field practicing. So there's like mad background drum noise, which is kind of ironic given the fact that I have aggravated so many people with my drum noise over the years. And speaking of which, drum roll please. Let's see how they like these apples. Yeah, I need to walk across the field there and have a little drum battle. All right, here we go. Let's see how we did. Yes, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby. There we go. I wonder if I've done this color on camera before. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Let's, uh, let's actually zoom in a little bit so that you can see things a little bit better. Yeah, I think it's a really good color, and it's so basic. It's basic, but it's fun. Like I said, we'll get, we'll have 16 of these, so looking good there. Yeah, nice soft stickworms there. Has a nice little hang to it. Once they cure, they'll be, uh, they'll be just about right. All righty, there it is. All right, there they are. That is round number one. Now, I don't have a ton of plastic. You know, we're not going to get hundreds of these things, but we'll have enough to, uh, to make somebody happy with. I am going to offer these for sale on the uh, Instagram. So, anyway, there's the first 16 out of many. All right, here we go. Best part right here. That just never gets old. Man, doesn't that new banner look slick? I mean, that's like the little three amigos over here. AI, dead on, L-I-T-L. Man, let's go. All right, time for round two. I know some people like to see the blending block. Cool, cool, cool. The way that it just, uh, I mean, it, what's amazing is about these laminate systems is, is just how easy it is. Color A, color B. 
just that easy and somehow it works so let's uh take the pressure off here and take a look see how round two did whoops looking good looking good yeah nice laminate it there You know what I haven't done yet with the air vise? Triple injection. I have not yet done it. We'll have to do a video where I'm uh, doing some like robo worm colors or something and running like a bunch of triple injection uh, finesse worms. Something really, something really cool. Maybe some of those, maybe do a couple robo worm matches. Cause that stuff is pretty challenging. Those robo worms are, uh, or no joke. It's like some serious stuff there. If you want to go matching those. Alright. Yes. I just love it when stuff works. Here we go. Go ahead and pull the uh, runners off. Okay, well, that way we can fan them out like a deck of cards. Except these are way sexier than cards. All right, so we are down to the smaller size cup. Basically, once you use enough out of the larger cups, you um, just take the leftovers and transfer everything that you have to a smaller cup. That makes it a little bit more manageable. So we're going to lock and load here and uh, do round three for you guys. All right, and there's round three. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Ah, oh, what a pretty color. So simple too. Anyone who wants to get into lure making at home, uh, soft plastic, particularly laminates, um, you know, this is just one of a million combinations to try. And uh, I think you'll be very pleased with the results. It's a pretty color. It's gonna work probably in almost any bait. This would look good in a frog. It would look good in a jerk bait, a crawl, a worm, a stick worm, swim bait. Um, particularly, I, I think this has got creature bait written all over it. So, I don't know. Try it out and have fun. All right, that is actually not bad as far as efficiency. We only have just a little bit left in each cup. Not really enough to work with or do anything. So, basically, you kind of cut that, uh, chalk that up to uh, how much waste you have. And then, of course, you know, the runners being that they're laminates. You can save these and remelt them. You'll just have to live with whatever color it makes. Um, a lot of times these get tossed, but let's see how many we did. And uh, the way that we can tell is to count the runners. Each runner represents four baits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So what I actually did was I did a few, um, <clears throat> I did just a few runs, or uh, excuse me, just a few molds worth off camera, just to really whittle that down um, as much as I could. I'll get a better angle of these later, but there it is, all 60 of them. And uh, now we're just gonna cook up a quick color of the day. I have not done one of those in a while, so here we go. All right, we have some more dead on plastics worm blend there, looking nice and clear. Today's color of the day is South African Special. We need black for the color base and a pretty good amount of it. We want it to be pretty well saturated. I, I don't really want this to have much uh, translucence. Is it translucency or translucent? Somebody, I don't know. Anyway, I want this to be pretty thick and uh, it's a really pretty color and the uh, recipe is real easy. All right. Oh, you know what? We're missing something. Hold on. Yeah, see it over there? We actually needed the purple flake from the video. So I want small silver. Now you can substitute this with small gold or you can use both, but small silver. When I say small, this is the 0 0.015 stuff, I believe. Let me, uh, I don't remember exactly. Some of these lure works are a little different. Yeah, 0 0.015. All right, and now I want some medium-sized red, 0 0.035. 
not a whole lot just like little accent red here and there and then the same thing with the purple okay that's it yeah let's roll this beautiful mix-up footage here just to make sure that we have everything in nice proportion yeah that's looking it's looking really good I think let's get a little closer maybe yeah there it is and then of course you can add more flake to taste so we might add a little bit more small silver but you can see the red and the purple are just kind of accents here and there that's generally the way that you see this color all right and there it is beautiful south african special absolutely stunner that's the bass tackle five inch ribbon tail worm mold and then here is a good one right here oops this is the angling ai uh, this is called the mid mag it's a real kind of thick fat finesse worm so anyway there it is south african special it's today's color of the day all right a little glamour shot pan here trying to get all artistic on you guys but uh yeah there it is 60 gorgeous worms yeah now that we have them done now that they've kind of set up a little bit here's sort of the uh initial you know this is kind of how people judge a stick a stick worm right oh yeah how's it how's it droop you know you don't you don't want it to be like stiff you know you want it to have a nice little uh wiggle to it there so that is you know dead on plastics sinking worm blend with minimal salt added uh, to me gives me a really nice stick worm so again please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this color and uh and let me know what you thought of the color of the day really pretty stuff hope you all enjoyed this video and uh we're out of here i love how like organized my eyeballs are you know like these are all organized by size you know even within those organized by color all my jets and eyes are in this book and then you know my colors look, look here's my dead on colors just randomly in a tupperware all right it is german beer time we have a real german beer drinking glass and uh it's about to go down appreciate y'all watching this video